It's beautiful, I know. So guys, got a break between classes today, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an install video. Uh, we're gonna be installing, oh, hold on a second, guys. If you haven't checked out the video, y'all go watch it. It'll be linked in the top right. Come check out my new bumpers. They're uh, awaiting, they're awaiting the time to be put on, but we're gonna do installation of the locker down center console safe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in the truck real quick. Do I even have my keys? I don't even know. Don't have my keys, doesn't matter. So guys, this is currently how my uh, center console sits. This is what we got going on here. So being in this side, the safe is gonna take up all of this space right here and it'll leave this little front pocket. But as you can see, I have a standard holster that I'd carry with and this gun is actually loaded so I'm not gonna pull it out of the holster because guns typically don't tend to go off in the holster so if you leave them in there, they won't go off. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna AD. So, just back to what I was saying. Typically, if I'm carrying and I get in the truck, I just transfer from this holster to this and I have this set up. This is a T-Rex Arms, just like appendix carry holster, just a single Nomad carrier and this is a T-Rex Arms sidecar right here and then, hmm, yeah, I left my night vision monocular tube in there. Got a knife. Just got all sorts of junk in here, right? We picked this up. Just got a bunch of papers. Really, just a bunch of a bunch of space that could be better utilized. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside. We're gonna grab the locker down safe. Uh, we're gonna clean this out and we're gonna install it. And I'm gonna tell y'all what I think, what I like about it. If I don't like anything about it, and uh, I'm just gonna show it to y'all, so here we go. Now that we have this completely cleared out, as y'all could see, it was terrible a second ago, but now all we have to do is find it with one hand, slide these over, and they should just pop out. Do this on both sides. It should just pop out. So now we have nice clean edges, and then the one day that I find all my 10 millimeter sockets, I can't find a, a wrench for it, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna come in here, unscrew these all the way. This thing's gonna take a second. All right, so just a quick comparison. These are the little bolts they give you, and this is the one that they come with, or the truck comes with. So as you can tell, we have mm, maybe a quarter of an inch difference, and this one has a washer, a larger washer on it. So, gotta get rid of the small ones. Gotta get back in here. do is drop the safe in. Safe goes in like this. And there we go. What's left is to replace the little mat that they give you. Nice and snug. They give you this little mat. We'll go ahead and slide it in there. And there we go. We now have our locker down safe installed. What is going to happen now is anytime I get in the truck and I don't want to be carrying, I can just take this off, slap it in here, lock it up. Or if I'm going anywhere, if I'm going to the post office, some other places where I go all the time where, you know, you can't carry. Uh, or I just want to store some valuables, you know, like... $3,000 night vision monocular and a couple other things you know just toss it in here twist it there you go it's locked up on top of being in the center console on top of 
being in the truck, right? So, just go through this again. There you go, that fast, can reach in. This is a Glock 19, by the way, it has an Enforce APL on it. Actually, hmm, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and check her out. Safety check right here, just so y'all can tell, nothing's in there. Magazine is out. Dry fire. This is empty. So this is my primary carry gun. This is a Glock 19. There's an Enforce APL on it. The battery is dead. Don't judge me. Had to put a dead battery in there. Took that battery out to charge my night vision. Or to use my night vision. So night vision uh, superseded the, uh, the Glock the other night. But So this is my primary carry gun. This is how I carry it right now. Just inside this, this holster, I typically carry appendix. And sometimes when you get in the truck, appendix, uh, especially in long rides, doesn't feel the best. You know, if I'm not stopping for two or three hours or something like that, I'll just take the gun out and I'll toss it in here. Uh, what will typically would have been my center console set up like I had before. And, you know, it's this just the locker down provides you. And just another sense of security, right? It kind of goes back to, you know, the truck vault, right? So in order to get stuff in the truck vault, you have to get through the tailgate, right? You have to be able to get the tailgate down in order to get the drawers open. And then you have to defeat the locks, right? And all this does is buy me time to uh, hopefully uh, get back to my vehicle before somebody actually gets to my stuff to steal it, right? So same thing with this. Is this... Uh, impregnable like is it just completely bulletproof never gonna get into it no there's there's always possibilities right but I can store my valuables in here safely and securely and I know that they're not gonna go anywhere because I mean I, I locked it up obviously and uh, just look at this guys it is rock it is rock solid nobody Nobody is getting in here. And that's the wrong button. Just like that, you're in. It is spring loaded. So it opens up fast. You don't have to rip it open. Then, like I said, you store any of your valuables safely, securely, and you know that they are not going anywhere. Yo, on a quick side note GM, this little pocket right here, fits a. Uh, 30 normal capacity, 30 round uh, AR mags perfectly for whenever I'm hunting. So just grab another one. Mm, look at those 60 green tips and just go. But guys, just like that. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention. Uh, it came with a locker down branded. You can call it a gun magnet. I don't like these, but I might find a use for it in there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like them. But here we go. Here we have it. I just changed the password. So I won't let y'all see that. But we'll just open it back up. You know, have our have our gun, hearing protection, and uh, night vision in there. All ready to go. Ready to be locked up. Closes up. And it's locked. And just like that, guys. This is going to conclude a, another video. I hope y'all like this. If you're interested in a locker down safe, uh, they will be linked, first link in the description. Uh, y'all go check them out. This thing is ac absolutely sick. Oh, and by the way, it keeps keeps all your factory plugins in here too, so you don't have to you don't have to worry about that. And then like I said, I have the one that kept the pocket out in front. You can uh, not keep the pocket if you want. But, like I said, if y'all are interested in this, y'all check the first link in the description. Uh, I really appreciate y'all watching the video. If you would, do me this huge favor and subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 3,700 subs subscribers, man. That is insane. We were just at 3,500 before the last video. We're already almost at 3,700. So, if you would, please hit the subscribe button, guys. I'd really appreciate it. And if you didn't know, twitch.tv slash Chevy Offroading. I stream Fortnite and eventually Black Ops 4, but right now only Fortnite all night, every night, guys. 
So if you're interested in that as well, that'll be linked in the description. Follow the channel. If we ever hit 50 live viewers at one time on there, then I'm giving away rock lights, right? So every night that I go live, I think we maxed it 30, eight one night we max at 38 viewers almost hit 50 if we hit 50 i'm giving away rock lights guys so if you want a chance to win some rock lights follow twitch.tv slash chevy offroading it'll be in the description underneath locker down like i said guys thank y'all for watching this video hit the subscribe button and have a great day